What's up guys? How's it going? Today's video is going to be about a topic that you guys have requested quite often in my comment section. Today we're going to be talking about how to improve your opening laps. This is also going to include your warm-up lap and I know that's something that a lot of you guys have been asking for as well. So I thought I'd just combine the two videos and go from there. This is definitely something that a lot of drivers struggle with and can be changed pretty quickly. So with that being said, let's get started with the video. So the number one thing to helping improve your opening laps is warming up your tires. Now this is something that I've done over the years and never really understood until just recently. There's a great engineer under our team named Brian Boley who kind of explained this to me and made it all make sense in my head and I'm going to try and do that for you guys. Sliding the go-kart out of the pits doesn't actually build temperature in the tire. The temperature you want to build in the tire is the core temperature of the tire and that's what gives you the grip when you're driving around the racetrack. When you're just sliding your go-kart around in those opening laps, you're not really warming up the core temperature of the tire. You're basically just eating off that freshly softened layer of rubber on the top of your tire. The way to build the correct temperature in your tire is to load the go-kart through the center of the corner. And this is really the only way to build temperature in the core of the tire. So what you wanna do is when you're entering the corner, kind of toss the cart into the corner and really load the sidewall of the tire. Slide to a complete stop and allow the tire to build temperature into it. That load that you get in the center of the corner builds the core temperature of the tire and allows you to get more grip. Sliding the go-kart around does a little bit to build that temperature, but you're really not getting any more grip. This is why you see some of the good drivers just put around the racetrack for a while and then in the three corners, they're up to speed and ready to go. This is because they know that the real grip they're gonna gain is by loading the go-kart in the center of the corner. So in those few couple corners, they really load the go-kart, drive it in hard and turn the steering wheel and load the back of the go-kart into the ground. And that's what builds that temperature and gives them that grip in that opening lap. It doesn't take you sliding the whole straightaway just to build heat in the tires. A few good corners where you really pitch the go-kart into the corner and allow the tire to load up a lot in the center of the corner really helps you out and will really build temperature in the tire. Another thing to remember when warming up your tires is to warm up the front tires. When you're just throwing the back of the go-kart around, the front tires aren't really getting much heat into them. This is something that a lot of drivers do because they warm up the rear tires on the straightaway and then they go into the corner and wonder why the go-kart's not turning. That's because you haven't warmed up the front tires. Without warming up the front tires, you're just setting yourself up for failure. So when you're loading the rear of the go-kart into the corner, also try going in the corner really hard and turning the steering wheel really hard to load those front tires. Again, we're trying to build up that core temperature in the tire and not just the top layer. To do that, you have to go into the corner hard and turn that steering wheel hard and allow them to wait until they load up and grip through the center of the corner. You'll do a few corners and you'll realize that every single corner you're getting more grip out of the front tires and eventually as soon as you turn the steering wheel, they're not going to understeer anymore and they're just going to bite and go and that's when you know you're ready to go. So focus, focus, focus on loading up the rear of the go-kart into the corner to build the core temperature of the tire and then pushing the front of the tires into the ground so that you can build the core temperature in those as well. It shouldn't take that much time on the racetrack because you're building that core temperature in the tire and that's what allows the tire to grip up through the center of the corner. The next thing to do is in those opening laps, keep the go-kart underneath you. If you do your tire pressure correctly, at the beginning of the race, the go-kart is gonna be on the free side. You don't want it gripped up in those first couple laps because obviously at the end of the race, you're gonna be quite slow. So keep the go-kart underneath you. Like I said earlier, when you're just sliding the go-kart around, you're just scraping off that top layer of rubber and not actually building heat in your tires. So when you're sliding the go-kart around in these opening laps, you're just tearing up your tires and making it worse in the long run of the race. So focus really hard on keeping the go-kart underneath you so that your cart will perform better at the end of the race. To do this, all you need to do is just brake a little bit earlier. You know where the braking zone is and you know your go-kart can't go that deep into the corner. So don't drive it in that deep. So brake just a little bit earlier. Allow yourself time to get the go-kart underneath you so that when you get on the gas, you're applying power and you're getting out of the corner faster. Not only is sliding hurting the tires, it's hurting your lap time as well. Whenever the go-kart's not going straight, it's slowing itself down. 
So if you're sliding off of the corner on the power, you're eating up your tires and you're eating up valuable time you could be spending on the racetrack. So keep the go-kart underneath you in those first couple laps just so that you're able to have a good kart at the end of the race. Keeping the go-kart underneath you paired up with warming your tires up correctly is gonna be much easier because not only are your tires gonna be actually warmed up, you're not gonna slide as much as you did before. If you warm up your tires correctly, it should be a lot easier to keep the go-kart underneath you in those opening laps. Like I said, the go-kart's gonna be on the free side at the beginning of the race. Breaking just that little bit earlier and getting on the gas just that little bit later, it's definitely gonna help you and definitely improve your race as a whole. And finally, the last tip to having a better opening lap is to try and keep momentum going forward. There's one basic rule in racing pass or be passed. Basically, if you're not moving forward, you're moving backwards. So in those opening laps, you wanna take advantage of any situation you can. Because if you're not moving forward, there's somebody behind you that's wanting to take advantage of your position. And even if you don't pass the driver in front of you, you're gonna fall victim to other drivers trying to advance their position. This snowball effect can easily affect your race because one position can turn into four or five like that. That's seconds of time during your race that's just lost because you didn't make a pass in the opening lap. So really try and focus on moving forward in those opening laps and getting your momentum going forward at the beginning of the race. Those opening laps are all about momentum and the tone you set. So focus on getting your momentum going forward. This is how you see drivers start at the back of the pack and come through the field and rarely get passed back by anybody they're passing. This is because they have a freight train of momentum going forward and it's almost like you don't wanna get in their way because you feel like you're just gonna get run off the racetrack. Because when you start in the back, there's no one to worry about on the start passing you back, it's only pass and go forward. They got that momentum going forward and it's super easy to just keep that going and keep that speed going forward. So remember, pass or be passed. Go forward or go backwards. There's no in between. Now granted, there are times that pushing does help later on in the race, but we're talking about the starts and we're wanting to improve our opening laps and this is a key thing that will improve your opening lap. Get your momentum going forward. That's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully this helped you guys out a lot. Guys, I wanna do merch and I really wanna get this done, but I don't really know what sizes to get. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are interested in some Norm Ignatian merch. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram and on my Facebook. That's where you get any updates on my card and career. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll catch you at the next one.